Hello and um, welcome back to my channel. I am Kylie and I am an online ESL tutor for Camberley Kids and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can use the screen share function for Camberley. So when you do Camberley Kids you are given a like PowerPoint kind of display presentation of slides that you can teach but sometimes the slides finish early or maybe a kid wants to work on something extra and you can choose to share other websites and resources to help improve your lessons if you want to it's not a requirement but i do find it is something that i do use every day and pretty much in every single lesson so i do find it really helpful um, it can be a little bit intimidating at first because we don't have a practice classroom so to try and do screen share you have to just try it on a student and hope that it works and for the first few times I could not get it to work if they were on a mobile it wouldn't work if they were on an iPad it wouldn't work it would only work if they were on a computer um I think it was a, like a Mac problem sometimes the Macs if you I work on a uh, MacBook Air um I think it seems to be Apple people have a problem sometimes with screen sharing, but I find this way works regardless of what the student's using. And so far, touch wood, it works most of the time. So I'll be giving you a rough show on how it works using screenshots of classrooms. Because I don't have a classroom I can show you on directly, I will be using screenshots of things that I have taken in the past and I'll show you roughly how I use it in some of my lessons. This is a rough look at one of the classrooms. I have blanked out some of the details like the student's name and the things we've spoken about for privacy reasons. So this is just a screenshot of what one of the Cambly kids classrooms look like. So first things first, when I start in the morning, I open this in an incognito browser just because I find it works best that way. But then I also open a second Chrome window, not a tab, a window. So a brand new window. And in that I will open several different tabs of all the different things I might want to share throughout the day so I have them ready in a second window. The next thing to do is to go on to Google and download the Cambly screen sharing browser extension. So if you just stick in Google Cambly screen share extension for Chrome it will come up and you just download it as normal. I don't exactly know what it does or if it needs to be done but I downloaded it because I think it's probably um it helps, I don't know. <laughs> um, the, there is no trial classroom to test things like this, so you do have to learn as you go. So um, yeah, you can't really test it. So I liked it, everything to be in place to help me. So if we look at the screen, I'll show you some of the different things first. Um, you have the bell, which is for when somebody then calls, that's where the calls would then come in. The circled one is one of the screen share options. You then have a couple of mute buttons, the leave classroom button, which you don't really want to do <laughs> until it's the end of the lesson. You have the star rewards, a chat box with a translation tool. And then in the bottom corner, you have another green circle, which has a whiteboard. You can also get rid of the class and just have a big video chat of yourself and there's also another screen share function in there too but I always use this one up here so when you then click on this one that I have circled and arrowed you then get a second window come up a little bit like this again it's another screenshot of a lesson I had and I found that the only one that worked for me on a Mac was to go on Chrome tab. There are a couple of other videos that show you how to do it, but they all use the application window. And for me, I found that this didn't work for me. The only option that would work is Chrome tab. So if you click on Chrome tab, it then brings up every single Chrome tab you have open. So these would normally be, say, in my second uh, window for Chrome um, other than the Cambly one which is in my current window um, I have a couple of like book sharing sites um, a game site um, stuff like that another reading one on this particular day and then if you click on the one you want it then brings up it on top so then if we then look at what it would look like it would then look like this I find it's best to shrink this browser window so it's about half the size. This is why you need it in a second window because it brings it in front of your classroom. So then 
By doing it like this, I can still see the student who will appear in this box. I can still see the time to see how much of the class I have left. And I just like to do it this way. Most websites tend to work okay with this. And then you can do whatever you want. I find this is one of my favorite sites to screen share. It is great for so many different things. For example, you can see some of the ones that I've searched for, um, things like fruit, animals, CVC words. So if we click on animals, you can see that if it loads, there's loads of different like, it's like a matching game. So for example, if it's a student that's quite low, you can choose to have uh, animal pictures. That will literally be a picture to picture match game. And it's great because when you open a second window as well, the student doesn't have any control of the screen that they are then seeing. In the normal window, they can draw and interact, but on anything you screen share, they cannot control it. So with this game in particular, it's good because then they can tell you what um, window or card they would like to turn over. So they can say things like B2 and then you can click A4. Fish and mouse, not a match. You then have to obviously keep going until you find, oh, look, there's a mouse. Oh, that's a fish. I can't even remember myself now. <laughs> but then, yeah, there's mouse and mouse. I then have another extension that I have called Web Paint. Again, I just Googled Web Paint. If you click on it, it comes up with a pen. So then if I do something like this, I will go through the vocab and be like, What's in B4? It's a mouse. B2. Oh, it's another mouse. And you can go through the things like that, which I find really good. And so again, with things like books as well. So when you're reading, you can be like, oh, animals, and you know, and you can go through the words and underline what you want them to read, which is great. So this is kind of a one that I would use for a low level uh, English one with things like the mouse and mouse picture. But if you look for, say, things like the CVC words, you can get ones that are like, for example, this one is one that I tend to use quite a lot. If you're trying to get um, to encourage reading, this one is a great fun game that they enjoy. You can choose again. So obviously it's harder if you're going to use 10 squares. Sometimes they don't all fit in the screen. So it's best to maybe make it six, make it a little easier for them. And again, with this one, you will have a word that you then have to match to a picture. So they're all words at the moment. Oh, is there any pictures? <laughs> so there we go, there's wigs. And the idea is, is you would look for the wig picture with the wig words they have to match. You can then make it harder for them as well by doing things like opposites or ones that are purely just words to words. Um, Plurals have been another one that I've been using where you've had the word like foot and you have to match it to the word feet. So it's really good one to use because you can make it easier or harder depending on the level of the student. So that's one of the ways that I do it. Um, you will get a tab that comes up kind of near the top that says Cambly is sharing this window. Um, when you're finished with it, you would then just hit stop and then minimize it and you will then go back to your main classroom as normal. So that is kind of how, like one of the ways I like to use a screen share in my lessons. I hope you found that helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask below. If you're interested in being a Cambly Kids tutor, my affiliate referral link will be down there as well. If you would like to sign up, I make more videos about various things about teaching online. Um, obviously, I am kind of new, so I am making the videos as as I go. Um, but yeah, if you like this, please subscribe again. If you have any questions, always happy to help. Have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.